Two Fundamental Questions Scripture, Psalms 15 verses 1 to 3 Who may worship in your sanctuary, Lord? Who may enter your presence on your holy hill? Those who lead blameless lives and do what is right, speaking the truth from sincere hearts. Those who refuse to gossip or harm their neighbors or speak evil of their friends. This psalm begins with two fundamental questions. The first question asks about who is worthy to be a temporary resident in God's tent, and the second question asks, who can permanently dwell on His holy hill? These questions set the stage for a reflection on the qualities that make one fit for such an honor and that facilitate an abiding presence in God's sanctuary. The psalmist answers the questions by outlining the virtues of righteousness and the characteristics of one who can dwell with God. Integrity is paramount. A person who can abide in God's presence must walk blamelessly, practice righteousness, and speak truth from the heart. This psalm emphasizes the importance of our words and interactions with others. A righteous person refrains from slandering others, harming their neighbors, or taking up reproaches against their friends. These qualities underscore the importance of moral rectitude, honesty, and kindness in our lives and relationships. May we be people of honor, integrity, and uprightness who worship God in the sanctuary and dwell in His holy presence. Proclamation Today, I proclaim that I dwell in the presence of the Lord. God, who may enter your presence on your holy hill? Who gets invited to dinner at your place? How can we get on your guest list? Well, those who lead blameless lives and do what is right, speaking the truth from sincere hearts. Those who refuse to gossip, harm their neighbors, or speak evil of their friends those who keep their word, even when it hurts. Help me, Lord, to be this person and to live a life of integrity, righteousness, and honor every day. Amen. To get your copy of Proclaiming the Psalms, please go to our website, lifeworkministries.org. There, you can buy books, request prayer, or schedule professional Christian counseling.